Lee says, that you are skinnier and that your clock actually is moving slower. It has nothing to do with perception. It is actually what we are doing. That's, that's what the theory is saying. And in fact, experiment backs it up a billion times over. But just so we can you know, distance ourselves from it, that's what the theory is trying to get it wrong. So wouldn't that suggest that you can have two simultaneous realities? Because you were saying, like, if I'm the guy running, I have one reality. And if I'm the guy standing there, I have another reality? Is that not? Well, uh, that's not a ridiculous way of looking at it either. I mean, what? <laughs> 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 another of these quantum mechanics idea. And I think it's really cool that you guys are coming up with these kind of quantum mechanical sourced ideas for resolving these situations um, without even thinking about it. But um, so there's a quantum mechanical idea that uh, <laughs> that maybe the world splits off whenever, you know, whenever we resolve some amount of uncertainty or something and we have different universes. Um, I'm going to say that well, this theory, specifically this theory of special relativity, does not assume that. This theory assumes we are talking about a single coherent world view. So we both get skinnier if I'm watching you run. Well, not according to you. According to you, you don't get any skinnier. According to me, though, you're getting skinnier. Great. So I'm saying that seems like two different reality situations. Well, it's, it's either. If you want to define reality based on our perspectives, then yeah. That's it. yeah I, I, think, I think it depends what we mean when we say reality. If you're talking about an objective reality, um, then there, the, according to the theory, there's ultimately a single objective reality, which we can, I mean, which, which does happen to be self-consistent, even though it doesn't seem that way. And we, we're not going to have time today. That'll be the next lecture, getting into why this all makes sense. So yeah, it's one of the frustrating. Okay. <laughs> but um, according to, we also have fully legitimate individual perceptions of what's going on, and they're they're totally legitimate. If you want to call that a reality, okay, it's, it's a matter of semantics of what you want to call it. Um, so, I don't have a lot of time left here in this talk, but what I'd like to do uh, as a final exercise um, before you know, we're not going to be able to get around resolving it in the next class, uh, as a final exercise, I want to really bring home what's, uh, what's going on with these phenomena. And I'd like you to, to group up in groups of two, and I want you to talk with one another as though you're moving with someone else at velocity. That doesn't mean you have to be all exaggerated. How <laughs> you can, but. But specifically, I want you to, to, to communicate with each other uh, as though you're having a relative velocity. And I want you to try and describe what you're seeing in the other person. And I want you to see if you can form a self-consistent worldview, which makes sense of this. And, 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 and just see what problems you run into and see if you can resolve it. And, and you can do that for a few minutes. And so if you just group, groups are just two people. <laughs>
Close to the speed of light coming back, me being younger. Uh, are you going to go into this? No, not today. Okay. <laughs> That'll so, be next week, though, legitimately. So, you know, I'm, I'm 20, she's 60. Where did that time go? Why would that. Where did that go? Yeah. That's 80, 80, 80, 60. <laughs> 60. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> why? Uh, I've never been able to. Yeah. lines end up working is that from my perspective from the XT one lines that are vertical denote things of constant distance 